Hey guys, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today, guys. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. We're going to do a beer here from a, a company down, and this is Frog Level Tad Porter, and they're in a, out of Waynesville, North Carolina. Uh, I had uh, somebody from that brewery contact me a month or two ago and wanted to send me some of their beers, and that correspondence went to my spam folder, and uh, I didn't see it till about a week ago, and, and I seen it, and I corresponded back and I hadn't heard back from them. In the meantime, on my trip uh, down to Winston-Salem, I stopped in Greensboro at Best Way and they had this. I said, huh, let me pick one of these up and see how it is. So I don't know how many different beers that these guys bottle. I would like to try some, some more of them since they don't, they don't come to Virginia. So the guys at Frog Level, if you're still interested in sending me some, this was the only one of your beers that, that I picked up while I was down in North Carolina. would like to try some, some, some of the other stuff that you bottle. I don't know how many different things that you do bottle. Kind of feeling that you're kind of a uh, small brewery. But uh, that's how we all got started uh, in, in the brewing business. Uh, you start off small and work your way up. So this is Frog Levels Tadpole Porter. It is a 5.8 percenter. And I don't have the IBUs listed here unless it's on the label. And this thing is sweating profusely. And being a small brewery, it'd be, I'd be very surprised if it had some kind of dating on it. But it says 5.7 percent here on the label. So we're going to go with that. Tadpole Porter. Uh, so, uh, let's get on with it. What do you think? Yeah, let's do it. Commercial description. Every mother knows oatmeal is good for babies, so we thought what's good for the tadpole is bound to be good for the frog. So we threw in some barley and hops in with the oatmeal to craft a dark brew even a mother could love. So, and it's not a big beer. Like I said, 5.7%. It is, uh, not a huge porter, and, and that's how most of the porters are now. That, us Americans like to push the envelope, and you'll see eight, nine, ten percent porters. Uh, originally, porters were uh, a lighter version of a dark beer or a darker beer, uh, and then the stouts were a, a little bit bigger beer, a little bit darker than what the uh, the porters were. But uh, we kind of want to push the envelope on all that crap, guys. So. Uh, Traditionally, this would be a lighter ABV, usually between a 4 and a 5 percent, sometimes even a 3 point something percent. So people, uh, the dock workers over in, the, in, in, in uh, Europe, uh, uh, back in the 1700s, could have something to drink with their meals at lunchtime and go back to work and not be inebriated. That's how that got started. So. But uh, this is 5.7 percent, so it's a little bigger than that. I mean, it's a, this is a big bottle too. It's a bomber, it's a 22 ounce or so. Don't think you'd want to drink this whole thing and go back to work. Uh, you might have a slight buzz. So. But I'm going to I'm going to uh, share the other half of this one, as I always do when I get these big bottles. So let's see where this one goes. So we've uh, discussed everything that I've got here. So let's go over to the uh, food pairings and uh, the American Porter food pairings. Cuisines, barbecue, cheeses, butter, be good at Havarti Swiss. And since it is a darker beer, it goes well with your chocolate dishes. And the meat is beef, smoked meat, and grilled meat. Glass right a pint, back in non tumbler tumbled mug, side to side. I'm going to use a double glass for this to enhance the aromas a little bit. It says here, not recommended for extended salary. So that's why the, the dating is a little more critical. I would like to see a year on this. Don't need a month and a day, but I would like to see a, a year vintage on these, on these bottles. And, and a lot of the... Uh, the, the newer startup breweries and stuff uh, uh, can't afford that equipment. So hopefully uh, they'll get their ducks in a row and, and, and see that they need to, to uh, at least a vintage on this, guys. So uh, I'm going to leave it at that. Don't want to harp on that forever, never, 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 never. But it's like I always do. 
But it's pretty important, guys. It is. It's, uh, we want to know when, how long the beer's been in the bottle. Uh, I don't see anything else we need to talk about. So let's get the cap off of this sweaty, be sweaty baby and get it into the glass. Nice hiss. Plain Jane cap on here. Into the glass we go. And being a light or porter, it's liable to be fairly carbonated, and it is. Wouldn't want to pour this down the center. You'd have five fingers of head in this glass, and we're probably going to get two or three anyway. All right. Good two fingers of head on that pour. Good looking porter in the glass. And in this particular glass, I don't have any small, like the sobbing beer glass, where I can see through it. In this, in this particular glass, I'm not giving any red ribby tinges. If we had a skinnier glass, or, or a smaller section of the glass, we might see some red ruby tinges or uh, uh, ru ruby red notes in this smaller thing, but the bulb being this big you know, on this uh, double glass, I'm, I'm not getting a lot of light through there. I'm not getting any as a matter of fact. It almost looks like a, like a stout in a glass. But that could be because of the, the big bulb of this glass. So. Let's get a nose on it. Rich caramel malts. A hint of the oatmeal in there. Not getting a lot of chocolate. There may be some uh, some dark fruit in there. Maybe some plums, dates, or raisins, or figs. Caramel and toffee. And rich roasted malt. That's what I'm getting on the nose. So let's see what we get on the taste. Cheers, everybody. Definitely on the light thin side. Very carbonated. Very carbonated. Almost to, to the over carbonated stage. It's almost like you're drinking a dark beer mixed with champagne effervescence. Very effervescent on the tongue. As soon as you drink it, it starts bubbling on your tongue. So, to me, for this style, just a tad on the overcarbonated side. Very tasty though. Very, very tasty. A nice, lighter, dark beer at 5.7%. But I will tell you, it's not got that big, thick mouth feel that you're going to get from a lot of your heavier stouts and some of the imperial polders and stuff. Very thin, very light, very effervescent on the tongue, roasted malt, caramel, toffee, maybe a hint of some coffee. Not a lot of chocolate in it, though. Roasted malt is the biggest characteristic that I'm getting from this. But it is kind of thin, so uh, let me step on it for a little bit. And we'll come back and see where this one ends up. Frog Level Brewing, their Tadpole Porter. Yeah, seems to be pretty decent. Just a little on the thin side. So let me step on it. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left. Very nice. Uh, tad over carbonated to me. Uh, a little on the thin side, I was expecting a little bit more creaminess with the oatmeal that they use, and not not getting a whole lot of that. So let's do the final chug here. Nice roasted malt, a very nice uh, representation of what a porter should be. Uh, and looking through it, I can see a little bit of light through uh, the thin part of the glass when I when I tilt it a little bit. So. Uh, not completely black. Nice, rich ruby tints around the uh, around the thin part of the glass here. So, uh, final chug.
rich roasted malt, toffee caramel, slight hints of some darker fruit, not a lot. Nice bitterness on the back end to match up with the sweetness of the, of the malt. A nice entry level porter to me. Uh, would like to see them. I looked at the bottle. There is no dating or vintage on the bottle at all. Uh, and like I said, I think it's a fairly small brewery. Not sure. Never been there. I've uh, not seen these beers here in Virginia. Picked this one up in, uh, in Greensboro when I went through there the last time. And uh, a nice representation of the style. As far as I'm concerned, guys, not quite to the A category. Uh, would like to see the vintage on it. I would probably give it a B plus if it had a vintage on it somewhere, but it does not. So I'm going to give it the, uh, the B. I'm going to give it to 6. 6 out of 10 on this one, guys. Uh, a nice, decent, little, a tad overcarbonated at first. Uh, uh, then once it settled down, was I was sipping on it, the carbonation uh, eased up a little bit. But when I first poured it, and first started drinking it, I mean, it was way carbonated. I mean, it was just effervescent on the tongue. So, uh, tad over carbonated right out of the bottle. But that eased up as I sipped on it a little bit. So, nice uh, transitional porter, if you will. If you've not had a porter uh, before and you're trying to get into this style, this may be a good one to, 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 to pick up. Uh, there are some uh, tastier porters out there. But this one was a nice representation of the style, like I said. Would like to see those guys do a vintage on their beers, especially uh, this style right here that they're doing. So, uh, would like to try some, several other of their beers, so maybe I'll be able to get a chance to get my hands on some of the other stuff that they bottle. So, we'll see where that ends up. So, six for me on this one, guys. Uh, definitely above average beer. Uh, solid B, if, if you will. If I was putting a numeric rating on this one, it would probably be a between an 85 and an 87. So, let's go over to a Beer Advocate. They say 85 in a very good range. It is a very good beer. Very nice. And over to a Rate Beer, they said no score requires more rating. So, that's another reason why I think it may be a, a younger beer company uh, uh, doing the beer. So, uh, very nice. Uh, I enjoyed it. Glad I got to try this one and review it for you guys. Uh, was tasty. It was tasty. Just wish they would do a vintage, like I said. So with that being said, if you've had this one from Frog Level Brewing out of uh, uh, was it Waynesville, Waynesville, North Carolina, let me know what you think, guys, and come on back tomorrow. Let's go see what's in that fridge. See you then.